So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another wonderful, exciting tutorial on this channel. And in today's episode, we are going to look at one of the fastest or quick Photoshop quick tips and tricks. I am back on for some time now and I think it's been a long time I did something on Photoshop quick tips and tricks. The last one was how to round a text around an object, something like this. And this is what we learned. I don't remember after that we have done something on Photoshop quick tips and tricks. And for that matter, today we are going to look at how to do another exciting as we are graphic designers. Most times we do our work and then we save them in PDF. And then it is not mandatory to save or at least most of the work we are supposed to save them. You can't save them one by one, one by one by one. So therefore, you must save them in bulk. And this tutorial has become necessary and it's by a popular request. I need to do this with you. So basically, as I said, we are going to look at how to save photos, uh, how to save our document in in PDF. I have a tutorials on how to save your 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 designs in, in in PDF. And then if you haven't checked it out, you can go and check it out. Let me see if I can get the preview for you. I have how to save or saving formatting uh, um, style of saving or saving something something. Let me I'll I'll, I'll check and then show it to you very soon so let's go through it let's go through it um it, it's quite disturbing it's quite disturbing and still we'll get it we'll get it we'll get it because we have a tutorial on how to save or for a good is saving format in photoshop explain yes in this tutorials i explain how you can save all your details in either mjpeg either uh, good morning or either jpeg either png or either a pdf or all the uh, um, um, saving formats that you know i explain everything in details and if you haven't checked it out go and check it out so basically today we are going to design our product maybe i have all these flyers and they are here it's not enough but i think we can go with this one for the meantime and we if in case you are designing this for a client everything and then maybe you have them in bulk like 10 pages or 10 designs in which you are supposed to match everything into a single pdf form you don't have time to be saving them one by one one by one one by one so therefore there's a quick way you can save all in one file or in one photoshop sorry pdf format and once everything is open like this this is my first one second one third one and so on and so forth if even if it can be 10, 20, 15, 100, multiple times, never mind. Photoshop will help you save them within just a single click. So everything is set like this. And then I'll go to file and I'll go to automate. Good. Once automate is open, then you see PDF presentation. So you click on PDF presentation and everything open or a dialog box open nicely like this. Let's drag it into the middle so that we can see it clearly so once it's saved like this you can even go here and then add files and then it tells you the number of files you have you have opened in the photoshop so i have the first one this second one and third one in this condition you can rearrange them let me bring this one down and then let me bring this one at the middle you can rearrange them or you can bring this one up and then you can bring this one down you can rearrange them and then do some adjustment over here. You can even do it in a presentation form. Those of you who are act or who are maybe have idea about how to do presentations and other things, but you don't want presentation. You want a multiple page document. So a multi page document. That is what you want. You can even change the background from different different size, and maybe you can pick gray. You can pick black. But let's take it as white like that. And then maybe. You can add description to it you can add a copyright to it you can add title you can add author you can add even um frame name and other things to it and if that is okay for you then you click on save once you are done with everything font size is 12 you can even increase it or decrease it depending on how you want your information to be so once i'm okay with this i'll click on save like this and then a dialog box will come or 
where you want to save it to so maybe i want to save it to my download or let me go and pick a desktop and then i will just pick it and then i'll come and choose a name i'll come and choose a name and maybe i have most a lot of um, um, details or I have most of the information that i've saved them on um, 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 pdf so i'll just pick this one and then click on maybe it's the same thing although but maybe let's add something different to it let's make it two so that it differs or it's different uh, it differentiates from the one i have done already so and then i have pdf multi saving two good so that is the name i want to give it maybe you can also give it a different name so once you are okay with it and remember it's on what multi-page document pdf good it tells you that what we are doing is exactly now you click on save and then it's being saved now you see there's another options pop up like this and then i'll show you how you can put a password on your designs remember as a graphic designer once you design a project to your client sometimes they don't want to pay another thing another thing so it is required that you must put password on it you can if you have an options adobe um, adobe pdf preset high quality print and yes you can make changes to any of this but i think we have we must use this and then standard none you can pick any acrobats and guys you can pick any you can just make a selection and then uh, as i was saying you must choose or you must protect if you go here there are options over here you go here there are options over here and then you go to security you, this is where it's very very crucial you must put password on your details so that anybody who picks or whoever you send that project to then if the person is trying to open they will request for a password before the person can open so maybe i request a password then i'll go here and i'll type the password that i want over there and then when i'm done once i'm done in this condition i don't need a password so in case you need a password just check this one and then use any of these things and then just put your password over there and if you are okay you click on save pdf but in this condition we don't need a password so just go to general and everything is okay like this and then you click on save and then photoshop will save all the things or the tabs you are seeing it will save them in a single multi-page document for you so whilst it's saving i will urge you to subscribe to my channel like share for energy content like this i have a lot of videos tutorials tips and tricks in which it can guide you to learn a lot so please subscribe to my channel like and share and it's done saving so let's go back to my desktop and then let's go and check it this is it the first one i this is here and the second one is this let me double click it to open and let's see how it looks like so good now it's opening and this is how it is it open it tells you that we have three page document depending on how we arranged it so let me go through so this is the first one and then the second one is this and then the last one is this so assuming that we have 10 pages it will show over here it's three of three telling you that this is the third one and then this is the second one as you are seeing here the third one so please this is a simple way to save all your details in one pdf form in a multi pdf form let me repeat the process again i said you go here and then go to file you go to, sorry you go to file you go to automate and then you go to pdf presentation and then you just if you want to rearrange them you can rearrange everything over here and once you are okay you click on save and then maybe you can put password on it and you are done so please subscribe to my channel like and share i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now